Mina, Gun Bon Wa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Today we're diving into Psalm 18. Let's hop right into it. First, the header of the psalm. To the chief musician, a psalm of David, the servant of the Lord, who spoke to the Lord the words of this song on the day that the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. And he said, and now we're at verse 1, and we'll just we'll read on. I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The pangs of death surrounded me, and the floods of ungodliness made me afraid. The sorrows of Sheol surrounded me. The snares of death confronted me. In my distress I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. He heard my voice from his temple, and my cry came before him, even to his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations of the hills also quaked and were shaken, because he was angry. Smoke went up from his nostrils and devouring fire from his mouth. Coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down, with darkness under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub and flew. He flew upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. His canopy around him was dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. From the brightness before him, his thick clouds passed with hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord thundered from heaven, and the Most High uttered his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. He sent out his arrows and scattered the foe, lightnings in abundance, and he vanquished them. Then the channels of the sea were seen. The foundations of the world were uncovered at your rebuke, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. He sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, from those who hated me, for they were too strong for me. They confronted me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my support. He also brought me out into a broad place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands, he has recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also blameless before him, and I kept myself from my iniquity. Therefore the Lord has recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his sight. With a merciful, you will show yourself merciful. With a blameless man, you will show yourself blameless. With a pure, you will show yourself pure. And with a devious, you will show yourself shrewd. For you will save the humble people, but will bring down haughty looks. For you will light my lamp. The Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. For by you I can run against a troop. By my God I can leap over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is proven. He is a shield to all who trust in him. For who is God except the Lord? And who is a rock except our God? It is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. He makes my feet like the feet of deer and sets me on my high places. He teaches my hands to make war so that my arms can bend a bow of bronze. Whoop, excuse me. You have also given me the shield of your salvation. Your right hand has held me up. Your gentleness has made me great. You enlarged my path under me so my feet did not slip. I have pursued my enemies and overtaken them. Neither did I turn back again till they were destroyed. I have wounded them so that they could not rise. They have fallen under my feet. For you have armed me with strength for the battle. You have subdued under me those who rose up against me. You have also given me the necks of my enemies, so that I destroyed those who hated me. They cried out, but there was none to save, even to the Lord, but he did not answer them. Then I beat them as fine as the dust before the wind. I cast them out like dirt in the streets. You have delivered me from the strivings of the people. You have made me the head of the nations. A people I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they obey me. The foreigners submit to me. The foreigners fade away and come frightened from their hideouts. The Lord lives. Blessed be my rock. Let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is God who avenges me and subdues the peoples under me. He delivers me from my enemies. You also lift me up above those who rise against me. You have delivered me from the violent man. Therefore, I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the Gentiles and sing praises to your name. Great deliverance he gives to his king and shows mercy to his anointed, to David and his descendants forevermore. Guys, the purpose by, now that was the entire Psalm 18, and that was 50 verses. 
done in less than five minutes, including the intro, which was practically a verse long, and including my little introduction and the little incident that uh, I dropped something off camera, I knocked something down off camera that y'all didn't see. Don't worry, nothing broke and nothing was wet or stained anything. So no big deal there. That's why I just kept on going. Reading an entire chapter of the Bible, even a legitimate big chapter, it doesn't take that long. And that was, just, that was me reading it at a pace. If you're a fast reader, it would go even faster. If you're a little bit slower, add a minute or two. Reading the Word of God doesn't take that long, and it is so worthwhile. Once you've read it, you can then meditate on it. If you have some additional time, you can think about it. And even if, even if you don't have any immediate time, the fact that you've read it, you've put it in your mind, it's something to consider, it's something to think about, it'll be something, it'll be something that rests in your mind and in your heart. Probably, um, it, definitely immediately, shortly thereafter, when we put something in us, we reflect on it, we meditate on it, we kind of chew on it and think about it. That's just what humans do. And usually, it has more of a subtle effect. It kind of just sinks into you, and it just kind of, it, 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 it's on your mind for usually several hours after that, sometimes for the rest of the day. Sometimes, especially since it's the Bible, it may be a life-changing moment, something that just wasn't in place, and all of a sudden, the Word of God says something that you needed, and bam! There it was. So I just wanted to show you guys how quick it was to read the Word of God. This isn't even the longest of my little words. You know, sometimes I've gone for seven, eight, nine minutes. I just went over six. So I just wanted to show you what it was like to read a full chapter of the Word of God. Thank you very much for watching this video. I love you. And God bless.